All right, welcome back to the Buffalo Plus YouTube channel. Mike Catalana, I'm Jenna Cottrell. We're here at MetLife Stadium. Just to set the scene for you all, oh, before we get started, please be sure to like, comment, as well as subscribe. All right, we're here at MetLife. You can hear police sirens. <laughs> uh, there's a marching band con competition. competition going on behind us. There's a flea market. We're right at home, right? Yeah. This is what it's like here all the time. There is a lot of activity here. Yeah. In addition to every weekend, there's either a Jets or a Giants game. Yeah. It's the Jets this time, but it's 75 degrees and sunny, so it's really not bad. I mean, perfect weather. Uh, the band's getting ready for tomorrow, I think. What do you think of the bands? Jenna was in high school band. I was. I what? played the bass clarinet. <laughs> I should not have admitted no, that. No, you did not. I was so bad. This is real. I was so bad that they put me on bass clarinet because they're like, you can just do the whole notes. Is that like Little League right field? Is that what that is? Oh, it's worse. It's, it's again, like it's whole notes. You're in the back. No one cares about you. Could you jump right in now with one of these bands and play? <laughs> it seems like I could, <laughs> which is saying a lot. They're just kids, though. Yeah. All right, uh, let's talk about it, some of the storylines to get Five into. Five storylines that we're looking at for this game. I actually think this is going to be a pretty interesting game, yeah. being a division game, but there's five things I think we can go into a little detail. All right, we'll start with the Bills' interior offensive line against Quinn and Williams, the defensive player of the month. This guy is a beast. I mean, when you're getting compared to Aaron Donald and what you can do to an offense, yeah. that's pretty – that's something to watch. Yeah. And he has destroyed teams' offensive lines. Uh, player of the month, he gets pressure on the quarterback. He's really good in the run game. Uh, and I think he's just finding himself. He had had injuries leading up to this. The band is really enjoying to play. But I think he's a guy that with Saffold and company and Mitch Morris on the interior, they have to be ready for this guy because they only rush four for the yeah. most part. Yeah. And he can, as I said, wreck a team's offense. Josh Allen even talked about it. They don't bring a ton of pressure, but when you have a guy like Quinn and Williams who can be so disruptive, that changes everything. And like you said, he has been playing well this season, AFC offense or defensive player of the month. I mean, those those stats and that speaks for itself. But in terms of this whole Jets defense in general, one of the matchups that I'm really looking forward to is Stephon Diggs against rookie corner Sauce Gardner. Yeah, I mean, Gardner could follow Diggs around on the field. Yeah. I don't know if he's going to do that full time. That's a lot to ask of him. Uh, the Bills have other weapons, obviously. Yeah. Uh, but look, he's a guy that has the mentality to do that. If I'm the Jets, I want Gardner chasing you know, him as much as possible, yeah. only because you know what Stefan Diggs can do to any defense. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're gonna give your team a chance, look, I think their defense is much improved. Definitely. I think with Reed and Gardner and the corners, it is a massive upgrade on what they've had the last few years. They're physical, they attack the ball, they actually defend passes. Uh, we have yeah. an interview with Dan Leberfeld from here, covers the Jets. He's like, if you looked at last year, they rarely had passes defended. These guys have as many in this first less than half of the season as the Jets did all of last year. So they're a team that, and when you're only rushing four, like you just talked about, you can drop more guys into coverage. They are built to play defense, yeah. and I think they can be a challenge for the Bills' offense tomorrow. I completely agree, and I think of the Micah Hyde soundbite of confidence is a hell of a drug, and we've seen this Jets defense play well. We've had, we've seen Sauce Gardner play well as well, and that confidence. I mean, he was even asked about Savon Diggs this week at practice, and he said, like, yeah, he's about Diggs. He was like, yeah, he's, he's, he's a good receiver. He runs routes just like every other receiver in the NFL. So, I mean, very confident. You yeah. know, corners are usually like that anyways. But um, the Sauce is the guy who wore the cheese uh, cheesehead head yeah. leaving Green Bay. So yeah. we know he has confidence. And look, if you're the Jets, you're going against the number one team in the league. Yeah. You're a young player. You want to make a name for yourself. Yeah. You do it against the best player. So we'll see how they match up. Yeah. But I think it is a... It's not an advantage for the Jets, but I think it's their strength, that defense against the Bills offense as good as the Bills offense is. Absolutely. When you're looking at their team, what stands out, it's got to be the defense. Yeah. All right, let's talk about Naheem Hines. Uh, the Bills obviously making the trade. <laughs> Sorry, there's buses going by. Yeah. 
the wind is blowing. Honestly, the weather is beautiful. But Naheem Hines, what do you expect to see in terms of his time out on the field, how much he'll be used, and how he'll kind of acclimate himself into this Bills defense, or offense? Excuse yeah, me. I, it'll be interesting to see how many plays they give him. And I think because he can line up in multiple plays, yeah. I don't think they're trying everything week number one. Agreed. I think you're going to see him be in the backfield. I think you're going to see him be in fast plays. This is absurd. Well, we have a theme going on behind us. Maybe it's the a new Buffalo, Buffalo Plus theme, right? There we go. We'll see if we can record this. Uh, <laughs> Look, I think as time goes on, Naheem Hines is going to be lined up in multiple places yeah. and other teams are going to be having to react to that. I don't think week one against the Jets mm -hmm. that you throw him out in every different place and let everybody see that on tape. Yeah. But I think he's going to play and I think he's going to make a few plays for him. And yeah. we know Josh Allen likes what he's seen. And it's funny, I know there's that picture of them walking off the field together when the Bills played the Colts before. Yeah. and. And the Bills have talked about how much Brandon Bean talked about where they had their eyes on him yes, from the yes, draft all yes. the way through. And you make this trade, you don't do that to sit him on the sidelines. Right. It's going to be interesting how they match up the snaps. I don't think it changes that much. I think it is Singletary is the number one back, Hines in his role, maybe James Cook too. Yes. I don't think he's going to take – I think both of them are going to dress tomorrow. That would be my thought because Hines has just started in yes. this offense. I'm really excited to see him play for the Bills. Do you think he's returning tomorrow? I think there's a really good chance. I think they put him out there. Why not? I mean, yeah. if the guy was just doing it for the Colts, yeah. he's done. He did have a concussion earlier this year, but I think that's why you brought him in. And this place is tough, yeah. as you mentioned, the wind. It's always windy here. Uh, but, I, again, that's why you brought him in. You know, he's going to play. That metronome is booming right now. Yeah. Um, I'm excited to see him play just to see again. And like you said, it's not going to be – they're not opening up the playbook. It's not going to be – I don't expect a huge number of snaps, but I just want to see what he can be. And you always talk about players – talking about catching a Josh Allen pass yeah. and just the, the speed on that, how you have to adjust to that. So I'm just curious to see how the acclimation process will go. Uh, speaking of offenses, in terms of the Jets, Zach Wilson, um, you know, second year guy, I think earlier on in the season when they were playing well, when Brees Hall was in the lineup, you, you kind of, you had more faith in what he was able to do. Um, but now with Hall being out and you saw it last week, just some of the decision making, I mean, that is to me the biggest thing to look out for because the Bills' defense has a huge opportunity here. Sometimes I have to remember this team is 5-3. and three. Yeah. They found a way to win games. Yeah. And if they could knock off the Bills, they're right in it. But the quarterback has not been a plus at all. Yeah. He don't, 355 yards last week. He was terrible last week. He threw three interceptions. He threw the ball away multiple times. He's completing less than 50% of his passes over the last four games. When the ball's hitting the ground that much and when you're throwing it away that much, it hurts your team. And we talked about how good their defense is. But when your offense just cannot sustain drives, and you have some weapons out there. Yeah. Garrett, Garrett Wilson's Wilson. really yeah. good. They've got a solid tight end. They've got other wide receivers. Like, they have guys that can play. But I don't think this team has faith in the quarterback. And I don't know what Robert Sala is going to do. But I think if he's a one-read guy against this Bills defense, whether Trey White plays or not, and I'm iffy on that, and by yeah. the time we post this, maybe they've already announced that he's not playing. We don't know for sure. Yeah. I think the Bills defense should own, own Zach Wilson in this game. I really do. I think if the Jets have a shot in this game, their defense has to play well, and he's got to complete some passes. We talk about it. Pass percentage yeah. for completions is a decision-making yeah. uh, stat, and he has not made good decisions. So if he's a one-read guy, they're going to take away that first read, and then they're going to wait to catch the ball and get interceptions tomorrow. I feel like you see his eyes get really wide. Yep. And, and, you know, he's a second-year guy kind of trying to get acclimated, but at the same point, now it's different. Now when you're winning for this Jets team, it's like you have the, the, the timeline, the window keeps getting shorter and shorter, it seems like. But, yeah, going into tomorrow's game, I definitely see the Bills being able to be opportunistic against a guy who's kind of struggling to find his way. All right, talking about this, we know that the Bills are double-digit favorites in this game. It's a divisional game, but who was it that said it's the toughest game? games to win or the ones that you're expected to win? It's a friend of mine who has worked with a team that knows about winning when they're supposed to win, the New England Patriots. Yeah. And he's not the only one to say it, but if you think about it, the Bills have been really good at that. And they've rarely lost. Jacksonville last year is the glaring example. Yeah. Oh, they're not getting any better. Uh, is the glaring example of losing a game that you should absolutely win. That you should have. 
The Bills don't do that very often. But in this division now, Miami is really good. They've already beaten the Bills. And we, we accept that Miami is their challenger in the division. But this Jets team can play defense, so can the Patriots. I think those games, even though the quarterback plays not as good, the Bills have to be aware that it's maybe not their Super Bowl at five and three, but boy, what a what a measuring stick this is. Robert Sala says our measuring stick is always against ourselves. I don't buy that. Their measuring stick right now is against the Buffalo Bills in their division. And if they could come out tomorrow, first of all, compete and then find a way it would be huge for them. The Bills have to deal with this all the time. Yeah. Jenna, well, they're going to be favored in all 17 games this year. It's crazy. It is crazy. And this is a different spot. We talked about the progression of this team and how they went from being the hunter to now the hunted. But this is real. Like, you have to get up for every game. Especially we saw, you know, they were double-digit favorites against the Packers last week. They had a good first half, kind of fizzled out in the second. But what is the motivation this week is that it's a divisional game and you have that already lost to Miami in the yeah, division. you got to win these. You have to yeah. win the division games. Like, everything starts with the division. Yeah. You do not want to be messing around dropping a game you don't know what happens the rest of the way there's injuries there's other issues you don't want to be 0 and 2 yeah. and literally less than a game if you look at it ahead of the jets and the you know you just yeah. can't deal with that take care of business when again people are expecting you to win because you are the better yeah. team against a young quarterback so i think the bills have handled it well they're going to need to do this a few times. I think they need to do it starting tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. Uh, we'll be having plenty more coverage here from beautiful MetLife Stadium. I made sure to get the porta potties in the background, too. I hope that. This place is, I got to tell you, don't let anybody hear me say this. Uh, this is the worst of the new stadiums. Not that it's in the same spot. That's fine. It's just boring. It's, so dark it's now. boring. Oh. It's a boring stadium. They didn't yeah. do anything fun. They have loyal fans for the Giants, loyal fans for the Jets. The stadium's boring. It's always windy here. Yeah. And it's it's not it's not my favorite. But we, at least we get the band to play. Yeah. And they, Jenna's gonna go play a couple tunes. What, what was stop. your big what was your big song uh, with the band? Hot cross buns. I don't know. <laughs> that was about my expert level. They would ask Jenna, "What can you play?" And they'd say they'd suggest "In the Other Room." Yeah. Maybe would have been. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, there's another one playing. They they're doing the baton twirling. They're, yeah, they're, they're Could go out, get see you out there. We might stop by the flea market. Uh, there's some more sirens. We're going to wrap up here. Yeah. Uh, for Mike, I'm Jenna. Be sure to follow us on Twitter for all your game day coverage. Like, comment, and subscribe to the Buffalo Plus YouTube channel. In terms of our comment, uh, which Bills player do you expect to have a big game in this yeah. matchup against the Jets on Sunday? Yeah, give us somebody Friday. other than Josh Allen, Josh Allen and even Diggs. Yeah. Because you know there's other key guys. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. feeling a Kair Elam pick six. We're going big. We're going bold. Wow. Yeah. Could be. Yeah. And how about Dawson Knox big game? I'm going to throw Dawson out there. Your wife's calling. All right, we'll wrap up here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Buffalo Plus. Now the sun comes out.